right now, the Toontown player base, the Toontown subreddit, all of Toontown YouTube, everyone is fixated on one particular event going on right now, and that is the Toontown species elections. Now I can see that everyone's really hyped for this, and I'm glad you guys have found something that you're passionate about that you're really enjoying in this game. It has certainly been a while since that's happened, but for me personally, I don't really think it's a good thing for the game in the long run that they're putting this much time and energy into the species elections. And I'm actually a little bit disappointed with this entire ordeal. And I'll go into as many of the reasons as I can as to why I find this whole situation a little bit disappointing. Don't want to waste your guys' time too much, so I'll get into this as quick as possible. But as always, if you disagree, that's completely fine. Just give me a comment. Let me know why you're hyped for this and why I'm wrong. But please watch the video before you leave a dissenting opinion. Because if you just mimic something that I talk about in the video where you clearly didn't watch it, I'll be a little bit more annoyed than if you have an original dissenting opinion. So, thanks for watching guys, let's get right into my argument. So the first disappointment for me at least, is this whole structure of the way that voting for the species is taking place. And, and the reason for this is it feels a lot like our political party system in America right now. It feels like you're choosing between a couple of choices, and if you want something obscure, well, you're kind of straight out of luck, because you need to have a strong coalition of votes together to actually get your species made, because obviously they're only making one. And also, given the overwhelming popularity of what appears to be, be the fox, but yet most people don't want the fox, besides those who actually voted for it, so now we're getting to this whole idea of people are having to actually just vote for species that they don't want because they really don't want the fox to be made. So it's literally turning to just like this election where you have a lot of people either voting for Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, not because they like those candidates, but because they hate the opposition so much. And it's just kind of disappointing to see this election become so political and not even be necessarily a passion project. It feels a lot like at some point this election is going to become the lesser of like however many evils as opposed to truly an election for what people actually want. I know for now it's a little bit more open-ended, but I gotta say it's a little bit disappointing just the way it happened to turn out that the number one thing that's getting the most votes is something that's very polarizing where the people who want it obviously want it a lot, but then everybody else really dislikes it. It just ends up feeling kind of sad that it's going to become a project where people will be actively actually voting against something. I know that the developers had no control over it, but to me, at least, I find that a little disappointing because it would have been nice to have it be more of an election where people were really passionate about the thing that got made as opposed to voting against something instead. Now, we'll see how that turns out. Maybe we'll actually get one of the top votes to be something that people all kind of unequivocally think is cool. Maybe if they release some more concept art, that will happen. But for now, at least to me, I find that a little bit disappointing. And I'm sure that some of you might find that a little bit disappointing as well. The other part that I personally find a little bit disappointing is that it feels just as unnecessarily long and drawn out as a real election does. Because when it really comes down to it, yes, there is some transition time needed, I understand that, but we're not talking about, this is not the end of the world. This is not like going to literally make or break the entire game. I feel like it's a little bit crazy to have the deadline planning for this be like literally over like four to six months and then after that only after like those six months do we actually even get to a place where we're anywhere close to even designing the thing and who knows how long that's going to take the development team to do based upon previous projects it seems like the development team sometimes takes a while to do things i know that's not completely their fault i'm sure they're not getting paid for the work that they do and i'm also sure that they have a lot of other things going on so it's not their fault but the reality is it could easily be a year before we get this new species in, and that could be a completely moderate estimate, not an extreme one. I'd hope it would be faster, but it just seems like they could have found a way to expedite the process a little bit more than they did. It seems like they're going about peeling away these candidates very slowly, and I think they could easily, if they just updated this every week, I think they could easily have this whole process done in a month. I understand why they did it longer, but to me, the reason why I don't want it to take so long is not because I don't want people's ideas to be heard, it's more because it's going to result in this entire species taking over a year to be made, in most likelihood, and probably all of their updates, of course, will also be stalled 
for this whole species thing. So it's just kind of disappointing that it's going to be dragging its feet for so long, in my opinion. And I don't think for how minor of the change, all things considered, this is, it should take so long. Like, I mean, I don't think we need a freaking like presidential election cycle to make a new species. I'm not talking about a Toontown presidential cycle, by the way. I'm talking about a literal United States presidential cycle. This is kind of a combination of the previous points, but this will be a quicker discussion. But it seems like they gave a bit of a false sense of openness here with the nominees because some of the most popular nominees from the past seem to have been canned because they were too difficult to design or they were just not practical or they were copyrighted or one thing or another. It seems like this entire process of deciding which candidates were announced was not just actually on the most popular they also went through a screening process behind the scenes. So it's just, to me, it feels like if you're going to screen based on what you can make anyway, and you're going to put all these restrictions in behind the scenes, it would have been better just to make a set of nominees in the first place. Maybe consult, you know, the general public for one or two nominees. But if you're going to make all these suggestions anyway, basically taking away the freedom, there's no reason in creating that false sense of freedom and getting people hyped over it. I think it would have just made more sense and been better to have expedited the process and maybe gotten some user input but not have just taken away the suggestions completely. Maybe have suggested some alterations, maybe make the design more simplistic and see what the audience thinks. To me, I just found that practice a little bit disappointing and I don't know the absolute full extent to this. I just know that several of the major designs from the very early stages were kind of cut because they were too hard to do. And to me, I just feel like that was bad design oversight because there would have been a way to anticipate that and I think there should have been a better process to go about that because what happens is this whole process of bureaucracy is just resulting in a much longer election than is necessary because what we're getting is, does not need to take nearly as long as it's actually taking. Again, I know that this, again, has to do with their process, but another part that I just find kind of confusing, and it's going to add time to it and just add confusion, is this whole idea that we don't actually have anything close to official concept art for any of the designs. It seems like there's no specific time and place based on this calendar where they're going to make it. I don't know if there's a particular time when they want to, but because they're not defining when they're going to add the actual concept art at any particular time, that makes me think they're either going to never have any to begin with until they actually make the damn thing, or they're just going to add it at some random point in time that's going to obviously arbitrarily influence the votes once they come out, because there is a major difference in who's going to vote for what once that concept art comes out and once it does before. And also, of course, how good the concept art is for each thing. There's just an unbelievable amount of variance. And again, people don't really know if they're voting for either because you could be voting for what you consider in your mind to be the idea of a certain species. And then when the concept art actually comes out, it looks completely different and ridiculous. Like when we're looking at elephants, we're looking at something that looks like Dumbo or looking at something that looks more like a traditional elephant. Is it going to walk on two legs like the other species are? How is it going to look? Is it just going to be like... a a dog thing with like a huge trunk for the fox is it going to be a cat thing with different ears like we don't actually know how these designs are going to translate to toontown because think about it it's very hard to depict or imagine what the actual toontown art style will be until you see it in person so i think that's something that they should do before they really get too serious and start eliminating candidates because if we're going to eliminate things before we actually see what they're like or we're going to vote before we actually see what stuff looks like I think that would be a mistake. It's, it's just a very difficult process. Like, think about it. This whole election is kind of a mess because we don't know what the actual stuff looks like. We have to guess, and then you have to vote based on that. And all in all, it's just a huge mess. And I mean, we're just basically guessing on intuition. We might not even be getting the final product we think we are. So to me, I think they should have anticipated this. They should have figured out a system. I'm sure they spent a lot of time thinking about this before they actually released this message to the public and got this far. So I think they really did a poor job outlining this whole process. And I think it's a little disappointing, quite honestly. So, so far I've talked a lot about different problems, I think, in the execution of this whole election, how long it's taking, how we're not going to know exactly what we're getting, all these things. And those are all, I think, valid points to make and reasonable and serious issues, but I think there's a much major issue, much more significant issue 
that has not been addressed yet that I want to bring up right now. And that is, by having this whole election cycle, I think we can pretty much say that there's never going to be another major content update in this game for as long as it lasts. Definitely not while this game has a tangible player base, because think about it. This whole election cycle minimum is going to take half a year, and that's being very generous because we have to go through all this bureaucratic stuff first. Then they have to design the actual animal, which will probably take them a few months because it is going to take a lot of resources into making all new models, getting those models to translate through the entire game. You're going to have to get a lot of artists working. It's going to take time and effort because it's a serious thing to do to make a brand new model for a game. Throughout all the game, a creatable species, it's going to have to fit into everything. That's going to take some time and it's going to be significant. But the problem is, by doing this, you're already pushing back the doodles, you're pushing back the parties, you're pushing back everything else. It's probably going to be 2017, 2018 before we even get TTR to a place where it has all the workable features of the original game in it. Because everything keeps getting pushed back for these side projects. We're spending a ton of time doing, in my opinion, quite honestly, what I think is completely unnecessary. I don't know how many of you honestly... I mean, I'm sure you guys are hyped because you're getting new content, but how many of you would truly prefer to have a random new species that maybe you had some input on? It's cool. Who would honestly rather have a major new species that has a genuine chance of not even being the one you chose over, let's say, a new HQ, some new content, even a new field office at the very minimum? Quite honestly, I think... If they had just stopped trying to do all this stuff in the beginning, they could have some serious progress on a new HQ. They could have shown us that major progress. People could have been very happy with it. It certainly does not take that much more programming power and time to make an HQ than it does to make all the random cosmetic stuff they've been working on. Because I know for a fact that the game programming standards have changed drastically from the time Toontown was made originally. It, it would take... It would take a lot of effort to make an HQ, but if they had spent their time actively trying to create new content instead of making these cosmetic upgrades that don't actually directly influence the game, they could have a lot more genuine direction towards making that new content. I mean, even TTI, which has a smaller staff that's less funded, they made new content. It seemed like they were well on the way to making a new boss if they continued to have the funding and resources. I'm sure if the TTI team had the amount of resources that Toontown Written has been given and all their donations and funding and the servers and all that stuff and all their dedicated team, they would have done a lot more. Because, come on, we're getting a new species. We had the opportunity to actually move towards some kind of meaningful content, but instead, we're wasting a ton of time on a species. And you already know that they're, they, the TTR team feels dedicated to adding parties and doodles to the game. The reason why they want to do it is again, it's, it's an excuse to do something easy that they know they can execute. It's literally, a lot of it's just bug fixing. They're spending all this time doing almost nothing of actual difficulty, and they can drag their feet on it if they want to. We really have no way of knowing how hard it is or isn't. But either way, they're lining up themselves with a bunch of easy tasks. If, it's like if I went to go do homework, and I decided to just line myself up with a bunch of busy work instead of studying for my exam that was important coming up the next day. It's like... I understand why they're doing it, because it's much easier and much more consistent to put up these like random updates that make people feel good, but in the long run, it would have been much more beneficial in my mind if they had just buckled down, from, buckled down sorry, from the very beginning and had just tried to make some kind of new content, even if they weren't successful, because everything they're doing now is just wasting time, in my opinion. I, I, I don't see why they're doing it. I think that it's great, sure, I'm, at least they did something that involves a community this time. You know, they could have easily done community input for an HQ as well. That would not have been hard to do. They could have done something and almost set up the exact same way if they went to go to an HQ, but they didn't do that. Instead, they're making a new species. We have no idea when it's going to be done. It'll probably be a long time from now. It's probably not even going to be the species most people want because that's the way elections work. If any of you guys know anything about the political system, Probably at least half of you are going to hate the species that ends up getting made, but it's going to get made anyway. It's going to take forever, and it's going to just push back and distract. If they ever make new content, they're not starting it until at least two years from now, if not longer. And I think by then, we're not going to have the same size of community we do now. I certainly expect there to still be a community around, but this entire process has just wasted precious time that they could have used towards actually moving the game in a positive direction, trying to make something new, but that's just not what they prioritized or cared about. Because when you choose to have the new species, 
that takes a bit of developer's time. You know for a fact for the next two years, they are not secretly working on anything. There is no way they are secret secretly making progress on an HQ when they're spending all their time designing this animal and designing parties, designing doodles, doing all that stuff. They just can't be working on HQ. They're too busy doing that other stuff. So to me, the reason, the main reason why all this is super disappointing, just as a closing note, is that it is absolute proof and confirmation that in all likelihood, we will never get a significant content update to the game that's new from the original game, as far as content is concerned. We may get cosmetic updates like this one, but it's pretty much confirmed that we are never going to actually get an update that affects gameplay ever again. All right, so I think that just about does it for this video. I think I hit my talking points. Don't want to keep rambling on. I tried to keep this one as structured and clean as possible. Hopefully you guys appreciated that. Um, if you guys agreed with me, please let me know. If you didn't, that's completely fine. I can understand that. But please give me specific reasons why you think the reasons I had above are incorrect. And if it's just because you don't feel the same way as me, if you just have an emotional argument, there's no reason why that's not completely valid. If to you this is a very big deal and it's something that you really enjoy, there's no reason why an emotional argument is any less valid than a logical one, as far as I'm concerned. Just let me know why. I'd love to hear from you guys. I really appreciate your feedback. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.